You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your bold and the beautiful episode spoilers for Thursday, September 7th. So on Wednesday, for me, the day before the spoilers I'm about to give you, in my opinion, it was a two-thirds good episode. There were three big vignettes, and two of them I loved, and one of them I did not enjoy at all. I really, really liked seeing Finn going completely feral on his nine-toed terror of a mom, and I loved Wyatt calling out Liam, Liam and reading his BS I did not particularly enjoy the dressmaker and his sidekick COO hassling my baby boy Deacon. We are going to dig into all this, but if you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our B&B updates. So real quick, let's just look back at Wednesday to get ready for Thursday spoilers, as we usually do here. Ridge was over at Il Giardino rattling Deacon's cage again. He is certain that the pizzeria owner is still sharing a fold-out couch of passion with Sheila. Ridge is not wrong about Deacon, but where was all this concern for Steffi when he was part of Bill's foolish plan to cut Sheila a break for shooting Steffi and Finn and try to nail her on a vicious bee attack from two decades ago? (laughs) I mean, I would like to see Deacon show Ridge and Carter the door and tell them, don't come back unless you want pizza. I have the right to refuse service to anyone and anybody there hassling him, taking up his work day, they can go kick rocks, right? So meanwhile, my next favorite thing was Wyatt addressing Liam's lies. Liam has been lying to Hope. He's been lying to himself and... I liked it when Wyatt annoyed Liam to the extent that Liam said, bite me. He thinks Liam is annoyed that Steffi went home to Fenn because that leaves him in the dust with no chance with her. Liam admits it grudgingly, but also keeps on about safety, you know, but Wyatt's got his number. So Liam definitely admits that it's like he missed his chance with her. Again, all of this stuff to me just completely betrays all the things he said to Hope over the last many years, but whatever, whatever. So the big action on Wednesday was over in Malibu as Finn finally found his voice and he went off on Sheila about shooting them. And when she tried to play the Kelly card, he goes, okay, thanks for saving Kelly, but nobody wants you around. Sheila tried to manipulate him by trash talking Steffi, saying she was poisoning his mind against him. But Finn was having none of it. Once he found his voice, boy, did he find it. Then Sheila actually tried to appeal to Steffi's good graces as a mom. But none of it was working. And then in the end, Finn completely lost it, kicked her out, and told Sheila never come there again. Of course, she shuffled out crushed. Despite all that and Finn doing everything that she asked, in the end, it's not enough for Steffi. That sets the stage for heartbreak. On Thursday, September 7th, that is Jackie Wood's last air date for a while for her maternity leave. You can check out our video in our bold playlist. She has had baby number four, a fourth son. She has four boys under five in that household. I hope they have a lot of childproofing and soft corners and duct tape to put things back together and three nannies to help them because that is a whole lot of boy. I have two boys and double that is like, whoa, that's a whole lot of boys. So Steffi tells Finn she's taking the kids and leaving him. She is going to go to Europe. Finn is going to be absolutely crushed and in tears because he did every single thing that she asked. He cannot undo who's his birth mother. He can't undo that. He cannot undo that slip he made with Kelly at the beach. It was a terrible slip. 
people make terrible mistakes and they get forgiven for them. I mean, that was very unlike him. Let's just say that. We know the writers threw him under the bus to facilitate this maternity leave and to facilitate us entertaining the fact that Steffi might get back with Liam. But despite all that Finn did and said, everything she said she wanted, she's going to walk out on him. Meanwhile, over at Spencer Publications on Thursday, Wyatt and Liam continue their conversation. Official B&B spoilers have Liam swearing something to Wyatt, and it's about Steffi. I'm sure it's going to be something like, even if she chooses Finn, I'll never stop loving and protecting Steffi. But then something big happens to give Liam more than a sliver of hope. We're going to dig into that big Thursday action, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click like if you're enjoying these episodes. Spoilers, definitely click subscribe if you haven't already, and drop your comments on what you are excited to see on Thursday and what you liked on Wednesday, too. So, uh, Sheila beelines for Deacon on Thursday to tell him what happened and that she suspects Steffi will be out of the way soon. And she's not wrong because Steffi is packing her bags. But before leaving LA, Steffi stops by Spencer Publications to see Liam. This is absolutely confirmed. So this is the big news for Thursday. She heads over and talks to her ex-husband after walking out on her current husband. Maybe she just wants to tell him, look, this is just a courtesy notice. I'm taking Kelly. I'm taking her to Europe. I have to get away from this Sheila mess. Liam had just thought that any chance he had with Steffi was gone. But now that she's leaving Finn again, I bet Liam thinks this is my opportunity. I can steal Steffi away. So Thursday looks like another Bald and Beautiful episode. I think it's going to be sad because I definitely think we're going to see Tanner Novlin exercising his acting chops. I think we're going to see a lot of grief. I think we're going to see a lot of grief out of Steffi. Like, I think she doesn't want to go. But with Sheila showing up there, I think she feels like she's trapped and it's fight or flight and she's done fighting and it's time to take flight. That's what's going to happen on Bald and Beautiful Thursday, September 7th. I am so sad to see her go. I understand she has maternity leave. I'm hoping this is going to leave a lot of room for a Thomas and Hope romance and not this RJ and Eric bromance that we're seeing a lot of lately. I want to see Thomas and Hope. I don't want to see RJ and Eric playing with their doodle tablets. That's just me. Let me let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks to our U.S. and Canadian listeners, our international listeners. I appreciate you all. Thanks for coming back every day. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 